Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at some of the plant and animal species that were around at the time of Gondwana, uh, both those which have gone extinct and those which are still around, which we call extant species. So we're going to talk about megafauna and what they are, then look at some examples of Australian megafauna, and then look at some of those extant species that we still have. Okay, so megafauna, mega means big, fauna means animals, uh, so it just means big animals. And at one point in time, they were common all over the world, uh, but there's only a few places, and mainly think Africa, where these megafauna are still found. And this is probably to do with a few things, uh, but one of them seems to be the uh, migration of humans to a particular area. Uh, not long after that, the megafauna generally die out. So now we're going to look at some of the examples of megafauna that were found in Australia. Uh, and there's a whole heap of these, and I've just picked a few of the cool ones. So there's the Diprotodon, uh, which is basically a wombat that's about the size of a cow. Uh, and it was a large sort of grazer at the time, uh, and weighed a couple of tonnes. Uh, we have Sturton's Thunderbird, uh, which was a three metre tall flightless bird. Uh, now it's actually more closely related to ducks and fowl than our current ratite. So when we emu, ostriches, stuff like that. They're the ratites. Um, but it looked a bit like that, but wasn't actually related to those. But yeah, three metres tall and weighed about half a tonne. Another flightless bird is the demon duck of doom. Uh, and basically, I just put this one in for the name of it. Uh, it's another flightless bird. Uh, and it had a skull that was larger than some small horses. Uh, it had this huge uh, beak on it. And there's it's in contention, but some people think that it was a carnivorous bird, uh, while others think it was probably omnivorous or herbivorous, uh, but we're not quite sure about that. One of the definite predators at the time was Meglania, and this is a seven metre long goanna uh, that weighed close to two tonnes. Uh, so it, there's evidence of it. It was a carnivore, and there's evidence of it uh, attacking uh, a few of the other uh, megafauna that were around at the time. Uh, the other top predator, and probably a bigger predator than the Meglania, was the marsupial lion. Uh, and it was a huge uh, ambush predator uh, that weighed about 130 kilos. Uh, however, it's not actually related to the lion, being a marsupial, lions are placentals. Uh, it's more closely related to wombats again. Now there was a few different types of uh, big kangaroos, but the biggest one was the Preceptodon goliath, the short-faced giant kangaroo, and it was about two meters tall, uh, weighed 230 kilos, and this is a, a direct relation to modern kangaroos. Uh, now an extant species, a species which have survived, so they were around at that time, and they've survived now mainly unchanged. Uh, and this happens when they are well suited to in, an environment and that environment doesn't change very much. Uh, now, some examples of the extant species are the eastern grey and the red kangaroo. Uh, now, both of these were around uh, for a long time. Uh, however, they have uh, decreased in size. So they're now about 60% of how big they used to be. So those current species that we have. Still the same species, but much smaller. Another one that's still around is the Cory Pine, and this is all over Australia. This is a real relic from Gondwana. Uh, there are a number of pines that have survived from this time, including the Wollamai Pine. Uh, now, the Wollamai Pine was thought to be extinct, and we had fossil record of it uh, from 150 million years ago, but we hadn't actually seen any of them. And we thought that they were extinct for the longest time. And then in 1994, there was a park ranger uh, going through the Willamai National Park uh, and he went down into this gorge. There had been a fire and he was surveying the damage and he went down into this uh, really isolated gorge and he found that it was just covered in these Willamai pines that hadn't, they previously didn't know that they still existed. Um, so that's pretty cool. Another cool extant species are the saltwater crocodiles. Um, they have pretty much unchanged uh, since the Triassic, which is a long time ago, 250 million years, and they're pretty much exactly the same as they are today. 
In this video, we have looked at uh, megafauna being big animals. We've looked at some examples of Australian megafauna, uh, like Brotodon, the big wombats, uh, some of the big flightless birds, and marsupial lion. And we've looked at extant species such as kangaroos, uh, the willamai and cori pine, as well as crocodiles. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.